So let's take a look how to use this transitions pack for the Vinci Resolve. Uh, these are very easy to use, just drag and drop in the timeline and you know, ready to use. And the installation is very easy, uh, just double click to install the Vinci Resolve. So let's jump back to Vinci Resolve and let's see how to use this. Okay, make sure you have the Vinci Resolve uh, 2017 or above, free or paid version doesn't matter. And then if you download the pack, you should get the zip file over here. Uh, just unzip the zip file and you will get this folder over here. Now if you open up this, you will find two different folders and inside this install pack, just open up that, you will find this transition zone demo.drfx. Okay, now I can just double click on it and then it will ask you to install it over here. As you can see, I have already installed it, that's why it's calling me to override. Otherwise, for you, it will be for installed. So I'm just going to cancel it. Now, after that, you can come over here to this transition section, and there will be a folder called transition zones. And here, you will find all of these uh, 16 different transitions which you can use. As you can see, I have created my demo over here with these transitions only just by stacking the footages and the text and just placing the transitions on top of it. As easy as that. So I'm just going to display you with this footage over here and okay, now you can just uh, hover over the transitions to display the animations over here if it's lagging for you I will recommend you to go over here to playback and make sure to set the timeline approximate to quarter so that you can uh, check these transitions and use them very flawlessly so you can just hover over them to see the animation and just drag and drop them in junction of two video clips you can extend the duration if you want and if you play back it will work nice see now there is uh, plenty of other transitions as well like this glitch transition okay you can just uh, drag and drop this glitch transitions over here and also make sure to set the render catch to smart or user so that it can be catch for you so that you can play back faster as you can see it works nice and i can just delete that and you have plenty of other things now you have rotation left and right so if i just drag and drop over here and just give it a couple of moment to load this section uh, will be blue that means it's caching well if it's not enabled make sure to go over here and enable it from this another cache to smart now as you can see it will work nice now if you want to change any settings from the transition you can just select the transition over here and come over here to this inspector tab okay from here and here you will find some of the settings so for this rotation you will get a rotation center mm, that is actually a target zoom so if you want to zoom it from other angle you can just move it angle from here and if you play back as you can see the animation is completely different now again if you go on you will find this uh, media 1 invert and media 2 invert so if I just click on this media 1 invert while keeping this one turned off as you can see we will have a completely different animation over here okay so this invert will invert the rotation so you can uh, make them both invert and they will rotate in the other way so as you can see all of these transitions will have very flexible settings over here so that adjusting them you will get very unique animations over here now you get a rotation amount for now it's set to one that means it's rotating uh, 360 degree one time now if you make it to five or four let's suppose and i'm just going to make this one to center that you can see it clearly and also I'm just going to extend the duration because it has to rotate four times so extending the duration will be reasonable okay now let's see as you can see it looks very nice and after that you will find this ease in and out animations so by default it's set to expo but you can change let's suppose you want to make it bounce okay and if you just check that see so I'm not gonna set the first one to bounce. This one I'm gonna select to expo. See, it looks very nice. So by these settings, you can also adjust the animation. So there's plenty of other things you can check. It has elastic and other animations as well. So you can check that. Uh, so all of these transitions will have different kind of settings. If I put it, that put the sake over here, and you can see that. See. Now here you can just select this sake animations and here you will find the sake speed, sake strength, motion blur and etc etc. You get some other settings like contrast, brightness, if you increase that you will see uh, it will affect the contrast and brightness of this image. Saturation, now if you just play back it looks very nice. So with this couple of settings you can really create uh, different kind of animations. 
So with this step, you can play around with all of these transitions depending on your need. And by the way, this is just a demo pack for this transition zone. If you would like to see the full pack, uh, you can check it in the website. The link will be in the description. And here you will find 300 plus transitions. So there is plenty of other animations and lots of glitch animations and 3D transitions, perspective transitions and plenty of other transitions as well. So you can check the video over here to get more idea. Anyway, I hope this video helped. If you need any other support, feel free to contact me. I will be happy to answer.